Hi Eastgate Builders. So I'm back at the velodrome again. You may have seen this from some of our other videos. It's about a 400 meter lap around it. We've got a Raptor 1, which is dual drive, belt driven drivetrain. And we've got a nearly finished uh, Raptor 2. It's still sort of a uh, few missing parts, but performance wise, this is exactly what a Raptor 2 is going to do in terms of when you get it at home. This is set up exactly how the Raptor 1 was set up when we were selling this last year. So this is the first time you'll see a side-by-side -side comparison that actually shows if there's a performance difference between these two setups. The last video I did, I purposely set the Raptor 2 up to have the exact same battery, the same current, the same settings as the Raptor 1, just so it was an even playing field. Today, it's not really an even playing field. The Raptor 2 should easily outperform the Raptor 1 in nearly every category. We're gonna film it all on the phone here with the VESC monitor app. Each board has a Bluetooth module in it and it'll feed data back into the phone and I'll be holding the phone on this and hopefully I don't crash. So let's get into it. Just about to do the first run on the Raptor 1. The course we're setting up today is a little bit different than what we've done before. We're going to do one whole lap as fast as I can. So from a stationary position I'm going to jump on the Raptor 1 and I'm just going to accelerate all the way around until I get back to the starting point, which is marked by this. You might not be able to see it, but we've basically divided the velodrome into quarters. There's another witch's hat over there, one at halfway, and another one at 75% of the way around. So what we're gonna do on the second lap is when I get to this point again after lap one, I'm gonna come right off the throttle and I'm gonna coast along until I get round to that first marker. Then I'm gonna accelerate as hard as I can until halfway. Then I'm gonna come off the throttle again and coast around to the 75% mark and then throttle it again to finish the second lap. Hopefully that shows you some good current use and it'll give you a better idea of how efficient each drivetrain is and what sort of power we're getting out of it.